Hi friends, in today's video, I'll show you how you can fix bad pool color Windows 11 error. That is a BSOD error, blue screen on death. You will get a blue screen with this message that bad pool color error. This usually occurs when your computer runs into a fatal error and is unable to operate normally. It can occur due to incompatible uh, hardware or clocking or outdated drivers. Sometimes third party applications can also create this issue. Depending on the causes, there are various solutions and we are trying some of the solutions here. So let's start with the first one. That is uh, removing the problematic application from your PC. Sometimes the recent application which you have installed uh, might have created uh, this kind of issues. So for solving the issue with related to software conflicts, you have to go to the start from there to the settings and from there to the apps and just go to the installed apps here you will get the list of installed apps in your computer from here you can go to the sort by and you can select date install and you will get the latest application you have installed now just go to that application and from here you can uninstall or you have an option that is advanced option and from here just scroll down and here you have the option to terminate the application and see if that solves the issue. If it doesn't, then go to the repair section and try to reinstall or repair uh, this application and see if it does solve the issue. If it doesn't, then go back to the install application. And from here, just click on the dots again and uninstall it. And try reinstalling it again. Now the second method is to stop overclocking your computer. Sometimes you might have overclocked your computer for your gaming performance. However, this can put strain on your components which will cause the bad pool color error. So solving this issue, then you have to go to the start and from there you have to open the system configuration. You can use msconfig. Just open the system configuration. Now from here just go to the boot and then to the advanced section and here you can see that from here just check whether your processor count is on normal and the memory is on the normal stage. If it is checked and the processor count is on the high stage then uh, bring it back to the default stage by unchecking both the buttons and then click on OK and then click on Apply. Now the next method is to run the memory diagnostics tool. For that, just click on the start menu, then type memory. You will get the Windows memory diagnostic tool here. Just open it. Now you have the option to restart and check for the problem. Just select it and run this diagnostics tool. Your computer will restart and perform a check for any memory related problems. The next option is to perform DISM, SFC and check disk scan for that just click on the start then type cmt in the search window then right click on the command prompt and run it as an administrator then execute the following commands i'll share the commands in the uh, description you can copy it from there or you can straight away type it and run those commands the first command is this just run it it will take little time to complete the process now once that is complete, you can execute the second command that is SFC. And once that is completed, execute the check disk command. From here, you have to replace the star with the drive letter of your computer. For example, if it's D drive, then put it as D and then run the check disk. It will check for the hard disk that is corrupted and is causing the error. So once all these three scans are completed, you can restart your computer and see if the problem is solved. Now the next option is to perform an antivirus scan because some of the infections can cause this bad pool color error. So you can use your favorite antivirus installed in your computer or you can use Windows Defender in the case of Windows 11. So for that, just go to the Windows Defender. You will get it from the taskbar tool. Just open it. Then scan for the infection or viruses. Now the next option is to update your Windows drivers. So for that, just right click on the start menu and then straight away you can go to the device manager. Now from here, you will get all the hardware device manager drivers 
list here. For example, just expand Bluetooth and just check whether any of the hardware driver is creating an issue. If it is creating an issue, then it will show a notification mark here. If you see such a notification mark, then right click on it, then go to the properties and then click on the drivers and see if you have any updates left for this driver and you can update it from here. So hope this video have helped in solving this issue. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.